Cocktails. It's bourbon night, and welcome to another Drink More Bourbon. Cocktails. <laughs> I love it. Sarah, what are we making for the fine folks today? Well, it's not actually a cocktail. It's more of in the lines of a jello shot, I think. Okay. Um, But, which is not normally our style. No. However, if you know us, then you know we're from Kentucky. And do you know what else is going on in Kentucky right now on TV? Top Chef. That's right. Ah. And actually, one of the contestants is from Kentucky. And what did she make on a recent episode of the show? Well, I think it's Jiggle Juice. That's what it says behind us anyway. It is Jiggle so, Juice. Okay, good. So there's an episode where they go to Lake Cumberland, yeah. which if you're from around here, that's a big to-do. There's houseboat parties big and everything. And they have to host their own houseboat party. So what does she do? She says, I'm going to make Jiggle Juice with Maker's Mark bourbon, uh, peach jello, and mint black tea. Let's start making some Jiggle Juice. So Let's these are, these are basically... Juice. High-end jello shots, right? Basically. And we should also say that we are going as close to the recipe as on the show as we can. Mm -hmm. um, even from going to Whole Foods, which is where they always shop to get that type of gelatin, to using the bourbon that they selected, mm -hmm. everything. So yep. trying to keep it uh, as TV accurate as possible. That's right. All right, Sarah, what's first? All right, so first things first, we have to make our mint infused black tea. Mm -hmm. um, so if you know how to make black tea, this won't be anything new for you. Um, but basically what we do is we boil four cups of water. And once it's boiling, we take it off the heat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add three bags of black tea. All right. And twist. Okay. A sprig of mint. And I use about yay, that not much? yay much. Now, okay. if you like more mint, you can add more mint. If you're not a fan of mint, you can leave it out. It is the choice is yours. So once that's off the heat and we've got the black tea bags and the mint in there, we're going to let mm -hmm. that steep for about five minutes. Okay. Uh, while that's steeping, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Jello. This is peach Jello. Did you have that upside down? I did. I did. <laughs> Love it. Uh, we're gonna take our peach Jello, and like Chad said, we got this one from Whole Foods. Uh, mm -hmm. We did not use Jello brand Jello, although I'm sure you could do that. Yeah. Uh, that is not the Top Chef way. Keep but it is Jello the Top Chef way? Like I'm pretty sure this is the first instance of Jello being used on Top Chef. <laughs> I'm gonna pour our peach Jello. Mmm, waft that. Oh. oh no, bad idea. <laughs> you, it'll get in your eyes. Be oh. careful. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so if you're making this jello, you can look on the back of the box and the recipe is gonna call for um, a third of a cup of cold water and then one and a quarter cup of boiling water. Okay. So in this instance, what we're gonna do is we're still gonna add the third of a cup of cold water. Mm -hmm. We're gonna split the one and a quarter cups of boiling water between the tea and the maker's mark. Okay. So we'll go ahead and add our third of a cup. Boop. There that is. And we're gonna whisk it. Whisk away. All right. So that's good. Yes. So we'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, the we mark. will do our, yes, we'll do our bourbon. So what we did, which is what they did on the show, as far as we could see, the mm -hmm. measuring cup that they used was a half a cup of bourbon. So math time. <laughs> One and a quarter cups of boiling water minus a half cup of bourbon is three quarters cup of hot of the tea. Okay. So we put a half a cup of the makers in. They are strong, and if you watch the episode, you can see Padma's face go. <laughs> Sorry, Padma. So if you would rather do a quarter cup of bourbon or a third a cup of bourbon and then fill the rest with the tea, that's entirely get, up to you. If you have some bourbon lovers that you're making this for, go ahead. Go for it. But if it's some, but if you're scared, it's some people that maybe you're trying to get into bourbon, and this is like your gateway, which we applaud you for that. Maybe a little less bourbon. Maybe. Hmm. Go ahead. All right. But yeah, like I said, we use the Maker's Mark because they did, but we think that this proof at 90 proof is, uh, you know, a good place to live. Yeah. So like any other night hanging around around 90 proof weeded bourbon, we think would be good in this mm -hmm. recipe. All right, so we'll whisk that in a little bit. And now it's time for the tea. We have three quarters of a cup. Did you boil it down there? I did not. Oh, okay. Huh. It's TV magic. Gotcha. And we're gonna pour that in here. And you'll notice it's gonna start to thicken up. Gelatin's gonna start to... Congeal? Yeah, that's uh, the right uh, use of that word. Are you drinking? So now we've got our mixture. Okay. And what do we do now? So this is an uh, instance where... Fun little cups like these are gonna come in handy. So these are that. little two ounce cups. You can buy them at the grocery store. They come with this fun little lid. So would you like to do it? Yes, absolutely. All right, don't overfill. Well. A little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so then we'll put our lid on. 
And this Jello sits in about an hour. So these will be ready in an hour. And because the bourbon's in there, they're not gonna be as hard to get out as normal Jello shots. Uh, you can jiggle them and they will come out. Wait, I'm getting the- It's jiggle uh, juice. So I get it. Jiggle, jiggle. Uh, more TV magic. Have some made already. I love it. So as you can see, it's solid, but it it's very jiggly. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make that noise or else Oops. it just doesn't count. You jiggled too much. I, I, I wasn't ready for this jelly. They say, jiggle till you wiggle on the show. And I think that means until you're having a great tipsy time. I don't, I don't know time. if I'm comfortable with that. So you just, the normal way is, you know, to shoot it like mm -hmm. a jello shot. You can chew it if you want. You're going to get a lot of booze. Yeah. So I recommend just shooting it. Sure. Got some in the push broom. I got some on my base too. Mm. I don't think that's overpowering, but I'm not Padma. I'm not. Right. A, she looked. <laughs> I'm not a gorgeous. In pain. Woman. So, anyways, uh, this would be perfect for the warmer months. Um, definitely like a lake party. If yeah. they were having a yeah. pool party, a barbecue, like any kind of celebration that you're having, especially around here or like Derby, because you've got the mint. If you don't want to fool with mint juleps, this yeah. is a fun way to still incorporate some like Southern mm -hmm. without it being you know, really in depth and hard to make. So if you want to multiply this recipe, you're just going to do double everything. So instead of yep. four cups of water, eight cups of water, six tea bags, two boxes of Jello, one cup of makers, and so on and so forth. Um, and you can make, cause this only makes about 10 to 12 shots. Okay. You can make as many as you please. If you're having a big party, one uh, batch is not going to do it. Depends on how many people you want to jiggle. How many people do you All want right, to jiggle? Good. And you know what? I, I think that's a perfect amount of mint for me anyway. I get it kind of on the back end. Yeah. Like, oh, minty. But it's not like up front, mint! Yeah, I think you the know, first one was It's not like a sucker minty. punch of mint in your face. So, I, yeah, like that is what it's not. All right, so that is how you make jiggle juice as seen on Top Chef. Uh, so there you go. And actually it's got me in the mood for just some regular bourbon now. Me too. I just want to go, you know, drink, drink some neat. I feel like partying. As, as we in enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do that. We're going to go party. All right. <laughs> Recipe is, uh, down in the comments below. Uh, thanks to Top Chef for jiggling this recipe yeah. uh, out. Sarah from Kentucky on Top yeah, Chef. Sarah Shout out to you. with an H from Kentucky. Keep doing what you're doing. And that'll do it. So thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Cocktails. <laughs>